Hi, I'm Jim Brickle from Ed Learn Lincoln. Today we're sitting in the 2023 Lincoln Nautilus. This is an orientation for new vehicle owners. I wanted you to see where all the controls are, are located. So we'll start on the driver door. You have your power locks and then numbers one, two, and three. This is the to lock in the seating positions for the driver. You've got uh, power adjustable seats on the side of your chair. Once you've got it where you want it, push and hold button number one until it beeps. That locks in that seating position and your second and third drivers would do the same. Farther down, we have our mirror controls. This button here will fold the mirrors in, push it again, and fold them back out. You can choose which mirror and then the arrows to adjust uh, in the direction you need, up, down, left, or right. Of course, your power windows. Moving to the left of the steering column, you can open the rear hatch from here. And on the dash, it will show lift gate ajar. After you've loaded whatever you needed in there, you can hit it again to close the lift gate. TCS is traction control system. You can turn it off from here. If you're buried in snow and trying to rock the vehicle out, traction control will actually inhibit that maneuver, so you want to turn off your traction control system. Your lights, I've got them in the A position, that stands for automatic, so when it gets dark the lights will come on, and when you shut off the engine they will shut off as well. Now on the steering column, on the left hand side, we've got our cruise control, so you can turn on or off. It has adaptive cruise control, so you can set the distance that you stay behind someone, so you set both the speed and the distance. This vehicle also has lane centering. So you've got the little uh, steering wheel shown in the center of your distance meters up there. Now, if as it's part of the steering column, if you're moving your hand and you inadvertently set that, you must signal for your lane changes. If you do not, your steering wheel is going to start vibrating because you're going across the line and it's trying to warn you that uh, it's trying to keep it in the lane. So, if you have your steering wheel vibrating as you're uh, switching lanes, check to see if that might have been activated. Uh, no need to come to the service department for an intermittent problem. You might have just inadvertently hit that switch. So if you hit it again, that turns it off. Hit the off for your cruise control. Uh, you can also activate lane centering on the turn signal. So that's lane keeping system is on or off. That's uh, now in the on position. Now, this is your stereo volume up and down, seeking to the next station on the stereo. Of course, your horn in the center. And on the right hand side, this one here indicates settings. So, settings, you're going to adjust with the up and down arrows. So settings. Go to drive control. Hit OK. Handling in D or drive. You've got set choice of comfort, normal, or sport. Comfort is going to give a nice smooth ride. Uh, sport is going to accelerate a little faster and a little bit more excitement to the drive. Driver assistance, uh, blind spot, cross traffic alert, cruise control, driver alert, lane keeping system. So all of these are active. Keep scrolling down, pre-collision and trailer sway. We're not towing a trailer at the moment, so we don't really need that in the on position. 
Uh, below that, we've got speedometers in miles per hour. When you hit the OK, you'll notice the display went to uh, miles per hour. So we go down to vehicle, hit OK, easy entry exit. That's clicked in the on position. When that is on, the chair will start in the back position. When you start the vehicle, it'll slide up into the programmed position for uh, number one, two, or three, whichever one is getting into the vehicle. And then when you shut off the engine, the chair will slide back to make it easy to get out. Now as we go down, uh, locks, auto lock, feedback, miss lock, remote unlock. With remote unlock, you can choose to open all the doors when you use the remote or just the driver door. If it is just the driver door, a second click would open the rest of them. And as we go back from there, mirrors, auto fold. So when we turn that on, when you shut off the engine, get out, lock the doors, the mirrors will automatically fold in. Power lift gate. It has been enabled. As you saw, we already opened it and closed it. Remote start. Climate control, seats and wheel, duration and system. So it's what's going to happen when you use your remote start. So that can be either off the FOB or off your Lincoln Way app. And then you've got uh, windows on there, remote open, remote close. My key, you can set up one of the fobs for a beginner driver. You can limit the top end speed and stereo volume, among other things. And back to the top. So that was our settings. DSP stands for display. Gauges. Speedometer only, speedometer and eco coach, speedometer and tachometer. So you can choose the display that you have in terms of gauges. Info, trip, and fuel. No content, trip one, trip two, fuel economy. And display setup. So distance, would you like it in kilometers? And liters per hundred kilometers, would you like it in miles and gallons? Temperature, you have a choice of Celsius or Fahrenheit. Tire pressure. Language. English, French, Spanish. So you can set up this vehicle to customize to how you like the information displayed. And I'm going to put it back into kilometers per hour. The wipers are the stock control to the right of the steering column. You've got rain sensing wipers. You've got continuous, high speed continuous. Now we've got the big center screen. So right now audio is off. Sources, climate, down here it says phone, so you can add a phone, connect a phone, connect to another phone, so when it's add a phone, you will hit add phone, go to the settings on your phone, follow the instruction settings, then Bluetooth, follow the instructions on the screen. It's very easy. When you've got the map up here, those lines give you map orientation. Do you want the voice? What do you want to show on the map? More settings. Avoid route. Do you want to avoid highways? Do you want to avoid toll roads? Do you want to avoid tunnels, country borders, ferries? So you would check off any of those that you want to make sure you avoid. Search for a destination. 
Is it your home address? Is it your work address? Recent uh, locations, things you've saved, looking for gas stations, food, attractions. So if you hit gas stations, goes to the map and it shows you how close they are. It even tells you which brand. So Pioneer, SO, Shell, Petrocan, they're all very close to here. Parking, ETMs, uh, shopping. So it gives you by categories, you can look by name, it even shows you where Lincoln dealerships are located. So it's very easy to use. And then with the star, that's for your favorites. Settings, got your phone list, your clock. With a Lincoln, you want to set up personal profiles. So if there's going to be more than one driver, you can set up uh, your personal profiles. That will give you your seating position. It'll give you your presets for your stereo. Your phone would be the, and whatnot. So all of that you can program in and program it to one of the buttons, one, two, and three that we talked about earlier. And then uh, second driver, third driver, and whatnot. Under general, this is another spot where you can choose the language, the distance, the temperature. And this time when you go all the way down, you've got a reset. So reset, when you sell the vehicle or when you trade it in, you can do a master reset. That'll wipe out all your personal settings. So your personal profiles, it'll wipe your phone off there, your destinations, all your navigation settings. It'll go back to uh, the factory settings. Vehicle, auto stop start. Um, right now the vehicle is set up uh, depending on uh, the electrical things, uh, how the temperature is compared to where you want it, and a few other factors. The engine can shut off when you come to a complete stop. It'll restart when you hit the accelerator pedal. If you don't like that happening, you can shut it off from here. Occupant alert, rear occupant alert. Uh, it'll remind you when you shut off the engine to check for people in the back or uh, pets, whatever, to make sure uh, you don't leave it any important cargo in the vehicle. Um, if you never have anyone in the back and you don't want it reminding you every time to check, you can and shut that off. Your door key pad, you can set an, an additional one over what came with the factory, rear camera delay. Display, you can actually turn the display off so if it was too distracting for you. Calm screen. Just shows very basic information. A clock and the date. You can change the brightness. You can change the mode. Scroll across. Lincoln Personal Assistant. Software updates. Ambient lighting. With regards to software updates. Automatic updates is the preferred setting. Just like your phone, there can be updates that can be done automatically over the air. You can set up a recurring update schedule. So you might want to set it for a time you'll never be in the vehicle. You can check for updates, say Sunday morning, 3 a.m. or whatever. Update details. Uh, so if there are any updates, you can get the details of it for, by hitting that. And if there was one where you had to be in the vehicle or the engine had to be on, it would give you those details. Your owner's manual. It's actually built right into the vehicle. So you can check everything you need on uh, the screen. It takes a little bit of time to load in. You can search by categories, visual search, bookmarks, videos. Ambient lighting. When you're driving at night, uh, it can light up in the cup holders and footwells, so you've got a little extra lighting, and you can have some fun with it by choosing the color that it lights up. Setting up the vehicle as a vehicle hotspot, 911 assist when you've got a paired phone, 
uh, in the vehicle in the event you're in a collision the driver airbag inflates your phone can automatically call 911 and there is a valet mode so if you go to a place with valet parking before you hand over the keys you hit uh, yes you put in your own four digit pin That'll wipe out your personal set, temporarily disable your personal settings. So your phone, your navigation, um, the guy in the red jacket will have access to your car to start it, drive it, park it. And when he hands you the keys back, you will come back into valet mode, put in your same pin that you entered before, and that'll reactivate those features. For now, we do not want to set it up. And as we move down a little bit further, we've got the letter P. That can be to navigate to parking. It can be parking assistance, and it can be shutting off the reverse park sensors. Parking assistance. Yes, this vehicle can park itself. It can do parallel parking. It can do perpendicular parking. If you've uh, done parallel parking and the vehicle is jammed in and you think, gee, how am I going to get out? It can actually get you out of that parking spot. You can shut it off as well. So you can always pick and choose uh, what's going to be displayed on the screen. Navigation is a fun one to have. The other buttons we have here, this will turn on your camera. There we go, so what's behind us? The 360 view, so you can see there's someone in front of us, someone on each side. Real close up uh, view of what's in front of us. A wide view of what's in front of us and then shut it off and this one driver assistance for the auto stop start feature and auto hold auto hold is when you put on the brakes it'll hold it in place until you hit the accelerator pedal so if you move lift your foot off intentionally or otherwise uh, the brakes are still held until you act upon it Continuing down, you can turn the stereo on from here. You can shut off the display on the screen, your sources, your four-way flashers, climate controls, temperature for each side, heated seats, cooling seats. So put those on. You've got uh, some nice cool air coming through the perforations in the leather. Feels really good on a nice hot day. And where it says menu, brings up your additional climate controls on the screen. So you can turn them off, you can turn on the heated steering wheel, have the air flowing for the defrost through the panel vents on the feet. You can also do that with this button here. This one slides open and you do have a wireless charging pad right in there. Or spots to uh, plug in your phone. Now this particular vehicle is equipped with the uh, panoramic roof. So as you look up, you've got the open button. So first it's opening the screen, then it's opening the roof. You also have this deflector, so you won't get a loud howling noise. Then if you decide, well, maybe I don't want the roof open. And these here can do the screen without doing the um, glass roof. This has been an orientation from the driver's seat perspective. I hope you enjoy your new Lincoln Nautilus.
I'm Jim Brickle.